Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wanted to run Mac OS on your Windows, PC, or laptop, you've probably heard of Hackintosh. But here's the thing the hardest part for beginners is always creating a working EFI. Without EFI, your computer simply won't boot Mac OS. That's why in today's video I'm going to give you an easy Hackintosh EFI guide that works on any computer or laptop, no matter what Mac OS version you want to install. This video will make it simple and beginner friendly. Whether you're using a laptop or a computer, this guide is 100% guaranteed to work and super simple to follow. Okay, let's get started. First, you'll need a tool like Hardware Sniffer to detect your computer specifications. Then, you can use Open Core to simplify the process of creating your own EFI for Hackintosh based on that hardware information. I will insert the link download on description. First, run Hardware Sniffer on your computer. Wait a few moments and your hardware will be detected. After that, type H to export your hardware data and press Enter. Then, type H again to get the ACPI dump files. You will see the folder location of your hardware, just like shown in this video. You will see it appear just like the file shown in this video. After that, Extract Open Core Simplify and go into the folder. Run the Open Core Simplify file with the BAT extension. And you will see a window appear just like in this video. Wait a few moments while Open Core Simplify downloads the latest Hackintosh patches. Make sure you are connected to the internet so the patches can be downloaded successfully. Once finished, select Option 1 to choose the hardware report. Here, you need to provide the hardware information that was generated earlier using Hardware Sniffer. Simply drag and drop the hardware JSON file into the command prompt and press Enter. OpenCore will automatically detect your hardware and generate the correct EFI for your Hackintosh. Then press Enter, and you'll see which Mac OS versions your hardware supports. In my case, my hardware is compatible with the latest Mac OS, which is Mac OS Tahoe. This way you can find out exactly which versions of Mac OS your computer or laptop can run. For this tutorial, I'll be creating an EFI to install Mac OS Tahoe on my PC. To continue, simply press Enter. Next, select the Mac OS version you want to install. In my case, I'll choose option 25 to create an EFI for macOS Tahoe. After that, OpenCore will ask for the ACPI file generated earlier with Hardware Sniffer. Simply drag and drop the ACPI file into the command prompt. And press Enter to continue. Now just follow the process. Next, OpenCore will ask you to choose an audio text. Read the guide carefully, the best option here is usually number 2 because option 1 isn't supported on some MacOS version. After that, select option 5 to generate the SMBOs, which creates the Hackintosh model and serial number. OpenCore Simplify will automatically suggest the best Mac model for your hardware. You will then see a green line that matches your hardware. That's the recommended option. Once you've checked it, type B to go back to the previous menu. And finally, type option 6 to start generating the EFI for your Hackintosh. After that, OpenCore Simplify will automatically download the required KEXs, a CPI files, and drivers, and it will create a config list for your hardware. If OpenCore asks you to select an audio KEXT, choose the one that matches your device. Or you can simply choose the default option to continue. After that, OpenCore Simplify will generate the EFI for your Hackintosh. As you can see, my EFI has been created successfully and is now ready to install the Mac OS version I selected earlier. The next step is to create a bootable Mac OS installer with the version you want. Since I chose Mac OS Tahoe for this EFI, I'll need to create a bootable installer for Mac OS Tahoe. For the installation process and how to copy the EFI, you can watch my other video where I show the step-by-step -step guide to put the EFI into your USB drive and install Mac OS X. Check the link in the description for all of the files you need. And that's it. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit the like button, 
subscribe to the channel, and share this video with friends who want to build their own Hackintosh. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.